donate half the money to my school that I work at. Whether he wins, whether he loses, I'm with him to the end. The boxers were red, and the lowest-ranked boxer, R.C. Reyes, was forced to fight for survival. You're the one to get to fight, one of the top three guys for survival. R.C., I know you're scared, kid. R.C. chose David Pereja, the pretty boy, with a chip on his shoulder. You're gonna kick his ass tonight. I don't want you to go easy. Just because a guy's big, black, and ugly doesn't mean he can fight. R.C. fought the toughest fight of his life. R.C., you can do it! But ultimately, Pereja came out on top. Your winner, David Danger Pereja! Tonight, two new boxers will fight. The loser goes home. David and PJ will learn no one likes a champion. He's a joke to me. David's a great white hype. She's so much older than him. She's more as a mother figure. I think these people genuinely fear him. But the biggest threat isn't one of the boxers. I love my brother so much. I will manipulate the system. All the other confidants hate me. I'll deceive everyone else on this show. I'll pull the carpet out. <laughs> <laughs> the fight to become the next great champ starts right now. There are 12 boxers in the fight of their lives, but they're not doing it alone. Now Oscar De La Hoya will turn one of them into the next great champ. Who's the next great champion of the world? After watching Dave beat R.C. in the first fight. So when he thought of the fight, R.C. is still the better boxer, but Dave was just better conditioned. <laughs> Dave went in there, he boxed, the judges gave him the decision. It's a step close to where we all want to be. Congratulations. David and PJ, I think they're phony. I shake their hand, I'm polite, you know what I'm saying? But I just play them for what they are, you know? David. He's a, he's a joke to me. But traditionally in boxing, there haven't been any good white boys. They're always called the great white hopes or the great white hypes. Dave is a great white hype. I'm not gonna have any pity on the rest of these guys. I want them to know from the start that I'm here and I'm a player and I'm serious and I'm gonna win this whole thing. Fellas, I'm moving into the winner's circle room. I'm gonna enjoy the loft, you know, we had on our bunk and then winter circle room, the beds are nicer and it's a prettier room. Unless you win, you're not sleeping in there. That's nice over there. So from now on, he gets to sleep over there? Yeah. The winner sleeps there, all the rest of us sleep there, that's how it is. If you want, you can sleep in the couch, right? If I win, I'll sleep in, I'll sleep in there with, with, the guys. With, with the boys. Exactly. Why you sleep know? over there? I see Dave and PJ a little weird as a couple. Dave, a lot younger than PJ. She's so much older than him. It's, she's more as a mother figure to him. Awesome job. Awesome job. We did it. And not only did I win the competition and win 10 grand, but I won the fight and won another 25 grand. So I swept the whole week and I won $35,000 and nobody got anything. They say they weren't jealous. I don't believe it. I knew no one wanted to see me win this. All of this um, hostility that's been directed towards Dave, I told him it's a compliment because I think these people genuinely fear him. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Okay, bye. Good night, guys.
in the winner's circle room, now it's like I'm separate from the rest of them. And I'm in this big room by myself with a nice bed. They're sleeping where the dog meat sleeps. And I'm sleeping where a champion should sleep. So I know that there's jealousy stirring underneath. Uh. There's definitely jealousy in the house geared towards Dave. He's got an awkward style. And everyone thinks that they could beat him. <laughs> Dave, he's just not a very high horse. He just rubbed me the wrong way from the beginning. Hey, that's exactly how he looks. <laughs> hey, you have perfect face and everything. <laughs> Dave shadow boxes all the time. It's kind of uh, comical, really. When he's shadow boxing with his wife drooling over him, and you know she looks a little older than him, he kind of looked like uh, Mrs. Robinson a little bit, you know. Women would pay to be sitting here. I know. The man. Let's <laughs> uh, see you like this. He is in danger. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Danger. Danger. When we get to the gym, there's a little more pressure. There's a lot at stake. They tell us we're going to train with them so they can observe us and see what type of skills we have. All right, you guys, the jab is the best asset that you have. The jab gets you in there, the jab gets you out of there. All right, fellas, we have a surprise guest for you. We're fortunate to have one of the best left-hand jabbers in the business. Former heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes. Yeah. Nobody but the living legend, Larry Holmes himself, who's fought everybody from Muhammad Ali to Mike Tyson. Larry Holmes is just legendary, man. Larry Holmes is considered to have one of the best jabs in boxing, period. Champ, I've been trying to explain to these guys that the jab is the best asset that they have. But when I whip my jab, I whip it like that, like a whip. Let me see how you throw your punch. See, you slow as the highest catch up, man. <laughs> There you go. My name's Fred Bachman. I've never lost in the sport of boxing. Seven years ago, boxing really wasn't working out, so I went back and became a teacher. If I win, I'm going to donate half the money to my school that I work at. You're doing down here. You gotta do it up. My name is Gilbert Zaragoza. It's nice to hit somebody. When you're hitting that person, you're earning their respect. I got into some street fights, and they sent me to prison for uh, three years, four months. I look forward to getting these guys in the ring and showing them how a real fighter gets down. Do it like you mean something, man. My name is Lawrence Alonzo. I have two nephews that are, they're just the world to me. They're like my kids. I want to be able to give them a better life. I fight for them. Okay, we're done here, guys. But, Mr. Perea, since you're in the winner's circle, you and one other boxer get a private training with Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes is working with Dave because Dave is, is the winner of his bout. Dave, you get to pick someone else who gets to work with Larry Holmes. All right, Mr. Perea, this is your choice. Who's it going to be? Girlfriend. Dave uh, picks his girlfriend, Freddie. Let's go. Even though you're slow, you're strong. It is nice being in the winter circle. We do have perks. When we got back home, Gil had a lot to say to Fred. That was a heated exchange there. And I don't, I don't fear anyone. If you, don't, if you don't fear any man, then why did you quit boxing six years ago? What made you step out of the ring? Oh, yeah. You told me you were 36 and 0. 30? Yeah, you're, okay, and your point is? Three professional fights with no losses. Okay. I don't know if I want to get my head beat in for a living. So I went and pursued a, a dream I wanted to do, be a teacher. I saw this opportunity, and here I am. I'm giving it everything I got. You can say whatever. I haven't fought in six years, but I'm coming to fight you. Hey, you don't have hey to honestly, to... honestly, I hope I box you. That's fine. That's okay? Fine. I look forward to you. No, I you crave you. Why? Why? Well, am I supposed to be afraid of you? Yo, okay? If I lose on this show... I go back to being a teacher. If you lose, what do you do? You go back and then what? You do nothing. I think I'm a lot classier than him. I just think that he has that thug mentality, the jailhouse mentality. No, seriously, all the, all the talking aside, I hope you're as good as you say you are. I That's am. what I'm saying. I am. We're going to the second competition, and I'm feeling a little nervous because I have no idea what it is we're going to do.
Going into this challenge, you know, it's time to start turning up the heat a little bit. I need that money. I'd like to get the $10,000. I'd like to get ranked first, and I'd like to fight for $25,000 if somebody picks me. When I get downstairs, I see Andrea waiting there for me. Lawrence is my ex-boyfriend. Lawrence would shut me out when it came to boxing, and that's why we broke up. I have shut her out in the past, but now I want her to be with me when I'm successful. She's who I love. I want to win this thing very bad. That way, I can support her. This is my last chance. Gentlemen, today it's all about power. We're going to see who has the strongest punch. We're going to punch this heavy bag all the way up this ramp. Using one hand and one hand alone. And punching this bag uphill is like trying to take down a 350-pound linebacker. First one to the top wins. We have two rounds. The winner of each round will face off. $10,000 is a stake, and more important, you'll be ranked number one for the week. I'm just focusing on the bag, you know, and just trying to hit it as hard as I can, as fast as I can, just get it up to the top. Without a doubt, I'm the most powerful person out here when it comes to punching power. Get ready, gentlemen. Get set. Nothing better than eating with the family, am I right? You're right, honey. And Wendy's 99 cent super value menu sure helps. Great food and you can't beat the price. Who are you talking to? Everyone. All about Wendy's and Nintendo's super family sweepstakes and the cool family vacation to Nintendo's U.S. headquarters. I'll tell them later. Yeah, okay, but there are thousands of cool Nintendo prizes. Just find the code on medium and biggie cups. Oh, honey, jot this down. Are you sure you're allowed to win? Yeah, that's the beauty of being unofficial. Who are you talking to? For those who never quit, the battery that never quits, Energizer, keep going. There were 24 kidnappings in Mexico City in the last six days. What are you going to do? When I do best, I'm going to go get her. Chris's art is dead. He's about to paint his masterpiece. Take your family apart piece by piece. You understand me? Piece by piece. Denzel Washington. Love wish, please. I wish you had more time. Man on Fire. Own it today on DVD. quit the battery that never quits energizer keep going he went from high school dropout to one of the richest men in the world the name is branson sir richard branson branson created a global empire with the fearlessness of a true maverick but his adventurous spirit is not just limited to business he's also made a career of living life to the fullest now this billionaire has a new show just as exciting as his life we're not selling lemonade. When 16 contestants go around the world to test their business sense and sense of adventure. This fall, the ultimate risk taker is taking us all on a reality challenge beyond anyone's imagination except his. Absolutely brilliant. And it's all to win the biggest prize in reality TV history. The Rebel Billionaire, Branson's quest for the best Fox Ball. Get ready, gentlemen. Get set. Go! My role is to just yell and scream, keep him going, don't let him lose the energy. Go! I have no idea what was going through Jimmy's mind doing a power punching drill and throwing a, a soft jab. He had a strategy that totally backfired and he had to stick with it.
when Mike was doing the punch back, Louis was just like a little bit ahead of him, and I just kept screaming, come on, you know, you're almost there, come on. And out of nowhere, he just, he started doing it harder and harder and hitting it and hitting it. I think the guys underestimated me because I'm the smallest guy here. I'm see little old me, boom, banging that bag all the way to the top. I know I kind of shocked people. To have Andrea watching me and not performing well is, it's frustrating. And I don't want her to see me lose. I was upset with him. He was not focused today. I don't know where his mind was at, but he said he gave it his best, and I don't believe that, and I told him that. Boom, boom, pit bull. Now, you will face off in a final heat. Remember, $10,000 is at stake. Even more importantly, you'll be ranked number one. And then I moved on for the second round and went at it with Freddie Bachman. It's a chance for me to make a little money, but besides the money, you know, I think it's my time to win. that I won the competition more than anything. I feel happy that uh, I know I at least got some money to bring home for my school. Probably chose me to be here because he knows I'm highly competitive. I mean, I'm a winner, and I'll do whatever it takes to put my brother into that championship belt. Something in Lance tells me that he's a little bit over competitive. I think the guy would do anything for his brother to win, or even if it was crossing a line. It's the Boom Boom Bachman. $10,000 richer, and the number one in the street. Without a doubt, I'm the most powerful person out here. And now that I won the competition, got people gunning for me now. We're all going to have our time. Everybody's going to have their chance for their limelight. I believe I can humble him, and I believe I can put him in his place and let him know that you're not the man. Say goodbye to your loved ones. Wrap it up. We're going to rank you now. Tommy, Lou. We have to rank him. Where do we start? There it goes. He looks like he's a pretty decent puncher, but he's slow, though. He looks like he's kind of uh, mechanical-like in the ring. Look at all these tattoos here. I mean, he's a tough guy. He's all marked up. He's been in jail for street fighting. Can he fight in the ring? Yeah, I don't give him much of a chance. Lawrence Alonzo, he's doing this for his nephews. He's determined to win. Lawrence Alonzo made me want to puke today. Now he's been dogging it the whole time we're here. You know, this kid, Otis Griffin, he has tremendous power. I would agree with you. And I think all he can do is get better and better and better. This kid, Mike Vallejo, looks like a big puncher. He got a big heart. The little Mike Tyson. He's also the smallest fighter in the group. This kid, Jimmy Mintz, this is the second competition in a row that he did horrible. I don't know, what is, is he holding back? Because I know he can do it. Yeah. Physically, inside the ring. He has the will, the power. Oh, he better get his act together because these guys gonna burn his ass. We are in the business of winning. In 2002, Sports Illustrated chose a story about a group of high school kids. This is our town. Yeah. Their coach. Be calm in there. Keep you cool. And their small town. Go win state. Yeah. As one of the greatest sports stories ever told. Let's go right now. Let's do it. Run, 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 run. I don't want this to never end. Never! Never! Rated PG-13 at theaters October 8. You know how you always say you could make a meal just out of our soft garlic breadsticks, fresh hot soups, and crisp garden salad? You can. The unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks lunch. $5.95 at Olive Garden. Good idea. Great meal. Oh. Oh. Hey, Howie, what are you doing? Sleep and wake up! Hey, buckethead, get up. Hey, nice golf game today, little buddy. Somebody. Please stop the pain. He's killing my minutes. I needed a wireless plan. Radio Shack's pain-free wireless sale has great deals on wireless phones and accessories and the best values on calling plans and coverage. Plus, we'll transfer your number to your new phone and show you how to transfer your phone book, too. Can you transfer all the numbers except that one? Radio Shack. A lot of people are trying to eat right these days, so they think, I'll get the chicken at McDonald's. But the five-piece chicken selects at McDonald's has 32 grams of fat. 
Come to a Subway restaurant. A foot-long turkey breast sub has nine grams of fat. I made my choice. Make yours. Subway. Choose well. Thursday nights are moving to the OC with an all-new behind-the-scenes special. It's one of those miraculous moments when things come together. Get never-before-seen cast interviews and an exclusive sneak peek of the season premiere. Bring them home, Sandy. Bring them home. The OC obsessed completely. A new special Thursday at 8, 7 central on Fox. Need a reason to get the new 2005 Ford Escape right now? Reason 1. SmartMoney.com rated Escape a best pick. Reason 2. Features like a big V6 engine and a 6-disc CD changer. Need another reason? Right now you can lease the new Ford Escape for only $239 a month for 24 months. That's only $239 a month for 24 months. And there are still plenty of reasons to drive an Escape. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer now. In 1985, the FBI attempted to bring down the mob by sending an agent undercover as a Hollywood producer and recruiting an unwitting first-time director. This was the worst idea the FBI ever had. What do you know about making movies? I'm not really making a movie, sir. I'm just producing one. Matthew Broderick, Alec Baldwin, Tony Collette, Callista Flockhart, Ray Liotta, Tony Shalhoub. Look at this guy. He really thinks he's making a movie. The Last Shot, directed by Jeff Nathanson, rated R, September 24th in select theaters. If you're getting married, we'll rent you a tuxedo for as little as 50 bucks, which is pretty good, considering her dress probably costs as much as your car. Rent four tuxedos, and the grooms is free. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. This woman bought her three-piece designer suit at K&G for just $99.99. At a department store, she would have paid twice as much. So what will she buy with her savings? K&G. For men, for women, for less. Mm. Looks like someone got in late last night. I tried to call, but I couldn't get through. It won't happen again. No, it won't. Staying in touch is easy with GSM America from AT&T Wireless. With double the coverage and improved signal strength, it's our best network ever. Sign up now on a qualified plan and add extra lines for $9.99 each. Don't forget to pick up your brother after practice. Call me if you're going to be late. <laughs> That's right. You can't. <laughs> GSM America from AT&T Wireless. How many bars do you have? Gentlemen, we have the rankings, but we have a surprise for you also. We're going to bring in your loved ones so they can see themselves firsthand where you stand. Just before Tommy announces the rankings, he brings in our loved ones. I welcome the confidants because I know my dad will be proud of me because I'm pretty confident that I've moved up. Remember, guys, the lowest ranked boxer is fighting for survival. You don't want to end up like Reyes. If you rank in the top three, you're in a great spot. You could make $25,000 a fight if you win. Now, if you rank down at the bottom, you're making no money. You just fight for survival. Mr. Perea, you won your fight. You're already in the winner's circle. This doesn't even concern you. Once you're in the winner's circle, you do not have another fight until you're in the quarterfinals. Take a rightful place, sir. This is what none of these guys wanted to see. As much as they want to try and mentally break me down, I am untouchable because they can't get into my mind. Number one is Mr. Bachman. Congratulations, you won the competition. Okay, gentlemen, as you know, first three rated fighters are in the money. The thing about Fred is that he's old, and I don't think his heart is fully into boxing. Sean, help me out with number two. Mr. Vallejo. You moved up one this week. Mike wants to fight whomever. He doesn't care whether it's Lawrence, Freddie, Gil, I mean, whomever. Number three. Mr. Griffin. One guy that I'd really like to fight would be Otis. If I fought him, I would whip him, there's no doubt. Um, you know, I wish we could fight right now. You three gentlemen are in the money. Just because you're ranked in the top three doesn't mean you're safe. Help me out with number four, Sean. Mr. Armijo. Mr. El Mahmoud. Mr. Zaragoza. Mr. Shana. Mr. Corpse. Mr. Mintz. Mr. Lonzo, front and center. Mr. Lonzo. Yes, sir. What kind of boxer do you call yourself? What have you been boxing? Apples, oranges? No, I can tell. Look at your condition. You've been stealing all the pastries that you've been boxing, haven't you? Just a little, sir. Just a little. Jimmy. 
disappointed in the competition today. What do you have to say for yourself? You almost got disqualified last week. You dogged it. I don't think Jimmy works too hard in the gym. And he chose to use his jab in a power punching event, which if they're gonna include everything, I think that includes that he didn't make a very wise decision. Son, you're letting me down. You're letting all of Louisiana down. Mr. Alonzo, you've been dogging it out in the gym. You were next to last in the competition today. You're the bottom of the heap. You're fighting for survival. Rank yourself. Let's get out of here, gentlemen. Lawrence came here to box, and he came here to give his, his all. So for him to be at the bottom, I was very disappointed. I'm upset. I have to prove that this doesn't mean anything. It's all about how you fight in the ring. That's what it's about, and that's what I'm going to show everybody. Today was a rough day. I'm the one that has to fight for survival. Now the biggest challenge for me is choosing which of the top three to fight. You have number one, Fred, number two, Mike, and number three, Otis. It's gonna be a tough decision. After the rankings, the top three guys, number one, two, and three, had the luxury to have their confidence over. As well as the bottom guy, he had his confidence over as well. My plan tonight is for Lawrence to pick my brother tonight. Anyhow, anyway, so I will make sure it happens. They're definitely fighting. Andrea shows up at the loft, and that just makes me feel a whole lot better. Well, she was disappointed in my performance at the punch back. You, you let me down right here today. You really did. Her criticism does sting. I have to do my best, not only for myself, but I have to do my best for her and for my nephews as well. When I see Lawrence, I will let him know that the honorable thing to do is ante up and be a man and do it. That's number one. What's up, Lance? I want to wish you good luck. Lance comes up to us running his mouth like 100 miles an hour just about Lawrence and who he's going to pick. I knew he was going to pick him. I mean, we won't know until, you know. I know that's going to happen because he's number one guy and you're a man. I mean, <laughs> you know that and I know that. I believe him and Fred are in on a strategy of he wants Lawrence to pick Fred. We'll I know he's going to have him, so I will see you. Good luck with everything. Thank All right, you. good luck. I know. Yeah. Thank you. To me, this is all a game, and I don't know what people's intentions are. Some people can be pretty deceitful. You're definitely fighting. You're definitely fighting. Well, I told my brother, I already implemented my plan. And I told Lawrence flat out that you should pick number one. Don't even, don't even talk to anyone else about it. No, I'm not at all. Tomorrow I'm just resting. I'm gonna wake up. But if you hear me talking, don't even engage in the conversation. I'm gonna make sure Lawrence picks you. I gotta make sure that. Uh, and he's very confident he can beat you too. He had no problems. He's gonna knock you out. So I ain't like that fact either. Well, y'all were saying, yeah, he's gonna pick your brother. He's gonna knock him out. I, I don't agree with lying, but my brother's out to win. So what I'm gonna do is manipulate my brother. Tell him, listen, Fred, everyone thinks you can't beat him. Show the world that you can. But yeah, everyone else thinks that. Uh, I won't seem to beat you. I really? A lot of people do. He's driving everybody insane. It's right. It's just talk. It's just words. I know, but me and you are not like that, you know what yeah, I mean? I That's why it frustrates me. I get to you. It's okay. In one ear, out the other. Exactly. That's why I enjoy you, because, and I like how you are, because it's in one ear and out the other, and you're so calm and collected. I'm not, I'm not like that. I think this is the first step to better things with Andrea. Well, I'm a lucky person because I have someone that cares so much for me to be here with me. What do you think, Polite? Um, what do you think he's gonna pick? Not. Right now, this is a real tense position I'm in, personally, because I want to fight. I, I want to fight now. And I think that if you get picked, it's all yours. I gotta get picked first. We live paycheck to paycheck, and if Mike gets picked to fight and he wins, it'll mean a lot to us. It's your decision who you're gonna pick. I still don't know who he is. I think it'd be the best choice. Huh? I mean, why choose number two and could choose number one? That's it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you go be a coward on national TV if you want. <laughs> I can let nothing or nobody get inside my head. 
No. I have to fight tomorrow. Yeah. I have to be stronger mentally than physically. I do some good company up in here. These boys are getting upset at me for being here by myself. Well, it's not even being the champion, man. It is. I'll see you, baby. All right, man. I'll see you. Right. It's taken care of. One by one, the top three guys go to the roof, meet Lawrence, and hear his decision. Have a seat, brother. Have a seat. How are you feeling right now, man? Good. Yeah. You know my situation. Yeah. I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. Mm -hmm. I know you want to get in that ring. I know you want to get some money. And I'm in the same boat. I have two nephews that I care about, that I want to give a better life to. The only difference is, I'm not fighting for money. I'm fighting for survival. This was not an easy process. Yeah, I got three different guys that I had to choose from, and then I have to weigh the pros and the cons. But I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I think I could beat you. I'm picking you. The human machine only performs at its peak when it replaces what it loses. That's why Gatorade puts back the sodium, potassium, and carbs water does not have. These essential elements are the reason Gatorade has been proven to rehydrate, replenish, and refuel athletes better than water. capacity than Ford or Dodge. It's never happened. Debbie Silverado, an American Revolution. Okay, fellas, time to pull off the big heist. First, Murray will help me break into the old water tower. The Murray's ready to go. Sly, you'll pickpocket the truck keys, but hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? Well, we need someone to coordinate the job for the safe house. Oh, I'm not really sure how to use your computer. Not you, Murray. Them. So, you want to play? Rated E for everyone. There's a power so awesome, so irresistible, you'll do anything to get your hands on it. Introducing Gillette M3 Power. Turn on the first battery-powered shaving system from Gillette and turn on the amazing new Power Glide Blades. Micro pulses raise the hair, so you shave closer in one power stroke. Feel the power of the world's best shave. For maximum power, change the battery every six months. New M3 Power from Gillette. BK presents Love Flavor. Slow jams to feed your soul. Buy an original Whopper fixed hot and fresh. And save the rapper to download a free song at America Online. Double your Whopper and you double your music. There's no collection like this, because you put it together your way. Act now for your first taste of Love Flavor. Crew members are standing by. If you talk on the phone as much as I... Oh, hold on. Hello? Yeah. Can I call you back? Okay. Singular has a plan. Mom? Hi. No <laughs> way. Yeah. <laughs> as I was saying. At Singular, get our best deal ever. 1,000 nationwide anytime minutes, including rollover. Just $39.99. Hurry in and get a new Motorola camera phone. I call it my... I gotta take this plan. Come in to find out how Singular fits you best. Fox Wednesday is all new, all night long. You like it? It's wall-to-wall -wall comedy Wednesday. First on an all-new That 70s Show. I'm having a baby! There's a new arrival. When that kid opens his eyes, I want his daddy who loves him to be the first thing he sees. Plus, I don't want him to get switched at birth with one of those babies that doesn't speak English. Then, on the breakout hit quintuplets, how does Patton hook up with the hottest babe at school? I didn't notice. Did he have a gun pointed at her back? Plus, Bernie gives a crash course in bike riding. Will nursing Brianna back to help break him? Spaghetti and meatballs. And it's an all-new Method in Red. Would you please stop smoking my rose bushes? 
The Wall to Wall Comedy starts at 8, 7 Central, Fox Wednesday. This was not an easy process. I'm going to have to weigh the pros and the cons. I got three different guys that I had to choose from. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. I think I could beat you. I mean, this is what we came here for. We came here to fight. I'm picking you. You always told me when I was fighting, I got really excited. It was the first time I felt that kind of excitement in probably seven or eight years. So long, guys. Me and Lawrence tomorrow night. For one day. Tomorrow night. You're the best man win. I am going to have to take Fred's heart. I'm going to have to impose my will onto Fred. I'm going to have to hit him harder than he's ever been hit before. That's how I'm going to beat Fred. Lance probably thinks he manipulated me, but I chose Fred because I wanted to prove to everybody else, especially Andrea, that I could beat the best. I just started laughing to myself. I was like, Lawrence has no clue what's going to happen to him tonight. Yeah, you have me now, Lance? Yeah, you did. Yeah. It's frustrating to me how people can be really deceiving. It hurts because I'm not that way. Lawrence is that way. You're going to be busy fool, whatever, you know? I do think so. Don't take it personal. I, I apologize if I offend you. Know, all the other confidants hate me for the most part, and I welcome that. You should hate me because if you ain't looking, you're getting snipers. I'm going to have your guy off the show real fast. Mr. Alonzo, what kind of boxer you call yourself? Look at your condition. You've been dogging it out in the gym, so guess what? You're the bottom of the heat. You're fighting for survival. This is the story of David and Goliath, and I'm sure everybody is expecting Fred to knock me out. It's not gonna happen. And I'm gonna give Fred everything he can handle. You know what? I can fight. I want you to know, because you're here in my corner, that I'm gonna perform and I'm gonna win, not just for me, but for you too. I believe that Andrea and I have a future. In my heart, I know we have a future. I love you. I love you. <laughs> This opportunity for him to be here and this experience, we've gotten a lot closer, and he has shown me that I can be his number one. Now let's kick some ass. Kick the smack now? Yeah. The fact that I haven't fought in seven years could definitely be a big disadvantage. I'm older now. It's a young man's sport. My true passion is to bring home some money to the kids. Looking good, Fred. Fred's a heavy puncher. Lawrence has got a box smart. I'm gonna win. Let's go, Fred. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I really want to put Fred on his back. And I really want to light him up good. He ain't gonna be scared of nobody. One, two, three. One seventy-three and three quarters. One seventy-four. Mountain. One seventy-four. Good job. Gentlemen, we got a fight. We have a big fight tonight. How do you feel? Good. I feel strong. Let's talk about your game plan. I've been working on my speed and shot. Give me a combination. <laughs> speed is important. <laughs> What's driving you? I'm really afraid. Afraid to lose. Andrea means a lot to me. She means the world to me. So that fear of mm -hmm. taking a loss is what makes me drive. Hopefully, she'll be a part of my future. I know she will be. I refuse to lose. But I want to win this for her. Right now, I'm fighting for the kids from school. Yeah. If I can help these kids out, right. give them some of the advantages that I didn't have when I was younger, I think it would mean the world. Talk to me about your, your nephews. How do you contribute to taking care of them? I love my nephews, champ. I guess they had a good night. If that would have happened, dreams come true. If you push hard, you work hard, you can't get it done. Oh, my kids. I love them for them. Everybody that I love is here with me, right here.
That's why I'm gonna give it my all out there tonight. Oh, you gotta give it. Because I have nothing to lose and everything to gain. It's time. Time to take the hair off. It's time to transform. As I shed my hair, I'm shedding my softy side. And I'm now becoming something more menacing. Something more dark. After the hair falls away, all the friendship, all that love that I hold for whoever it is, just falls off. There is no such thing as friends in the ring. It's time for me to fight. That's $25,000 escape. Not only for yourself, but you can help the school out, you know what I mean? I've never lost in the sport of boxing. I don't know how to lose. That's not even a thought that I like to entertain. The tough guys, Philadelphia fighters. They don't have gyms, they have zooms down there. They don't have sparring sessions, they have wars down there. You've got to win. I'm thinking about murdering Fred. I'm thinking about hitting him so hard that his kids are going to come out bruised. I packed the stuff up, put a card for him, said good luck and find another career. See you later. <laughs> I have a father who works in heaven. How would be my name? This kid don't have any gas. I would just thank you for the 25 grand. Forget us the trespasses. We forget those. The trespass against us. We'll send him home. We ain't gonna need him. <laughs> and lead us not into temptation. I'll take care of business. But deliver us from you. Kill that body. Amen. Take him out. You ready to go? I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it is elimination time. Introducing first, the challenger ranked last, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears tonight the black trunks trimmed in red and gold. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us from Ontario, California, please welcome Lawrence Lights Out Alonso. What I'm thinking, Fred, I'm going to kick your ass. And I'm going to bury you in this ring tonight. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He is our number one ranked prize fighter. Wearing tonight the red trunk trimmed in yellow. From the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, PA, here is Fred Boom Boom Vakmar! I hope Fred loses because I think he needs to be humbled a little bit, you know. Not only will he fight for survival, he will also fight for $25,000. When I land that one good shot and the person feels like, wow, a tank just hit me. I don't want to get hit again. I can see it in her eyes. When the bell rings, I'm, I mean, what's going to go through my head is that he's going to go get him. I'm not really rooting for anybody. I, uh, I kind of feel like uh, Lawrence is going to get the edge uh, because he showed me uh, that he has heart. The referee, the man in the middle of charge of the action, Jose Colion. Yeah, take us off. Touch him up. Come oh, on, oh, And it's finally time. The moment these two gentlemen have been waiting for. The chance of a lifetime. Who will be the next great champ? Oh. You must be having a boy. What do you do, huh? I'm not pregnant. You're not? No. Why? Uh, thank you. Me? Yes, thank you. Girl, come on. Amazing what a simple thank you can do. Introducing Thank You from City, a new kind of rewards program. Easy to earn, easy to redeem. That's a card you can count on. What do you say, Grandpa? Grandpa. In three days. I'm back! Woo! Bernie Mac makes the ultimate comeback. Mr. 3000. Press 1. Rated PG-13. See it this Friday. Hi, I'm Jared for Subway Restaurants. Did you know that a McDonald's Big Mac has 33 grams of fat? But on the other hand, a tasty foot-long sweet onion chicken teriyaki sub from Subway has 10 grams of fat. I made my choice. Make yours. Subway. Choose well.
Sports SP, now only $79.99. It's Fox NFL Sunday. Michael Vick goes 10 yards with TV as Terry asks the questions nobody else would dare ask. Then, Portis and the Redskins take on the Giants. Fox NFL Sunday, this week. Fox 29 News, tonight. Ivan Ugly, it's ready to hit. Will it be Florida or the Big Easy? I'm Rob Garino. Get the big picture for its latest track. Fox 29 News, tonight. Philly, the city that loves your laptop. See how you can get your hands on free internet access tonight at 10. Need a reason to get a Ford Explorer right now? Reason one, it's the best-selling SUV on the planet. Reason two, a no-charge fold-flat third-row seat. Reason three, independent rear suspension. Need another reason? Right now you can lease Ford Explorer for only $299 a month for 24 months or buy with up to $6,995 in total savings. And there are still lots of great reasons to get an Explorer. So get to your Quality Plus Ford dealer now. I'm just going to get some fresh tomato and basil for my bruschetta. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, look how fresh you are. Mm. Ooh, they're going to love you. Come here, my beauty. Save on Donovan's favorite chunky soup. Ten for ten dollars with Supercard. Canada Dry and other favorites, five for ten dollars with Supercard. And Lancaster brand Blue Ribbon T-Bone or Porterhouse Steak, five ninety-eight a pound. Here I come. Acme, helping make your life easier. We've been married for 24 years. The kids are off. <laughs> I have gone from cooking 20-pound turkeys to two cutlets. Pillsbury has these frozen rolls and biscuits. You can just take a couple out, reseal it. You can make just two if you want. Pillsbury soft white dinner rolls. One of many Pillsbury frozen rolls and biscuits. And being just the two of us, it gives us a chance to sit at the table and really look at each other. <laughs> make two. Make more. Welcome back to downtown Los Angeles, California. Chris Rose sitting alongside Joe Martinez for fight number two of the next great champ. Lawrence Alonzo going against Fred Bachman. Survival at stake. Alonzo showing that true warrior mentality, going for it all tonight. Fighting for something you can put no price tag on. The love of his ex-girlfriend, Andrea. And here we go with round one. It is Bachman's first fight of any kind in seven years. Will he have some rust? Well, the answer is no on that first shot. Bachman tried to establish the jab, and he did it early. And a few more shots to the head of Alonzo. Alonzo very much on the defensive early on. Four, five, six shots, and Bachman works the body now, and once again the head. Great combination. And a worried Lou Duma, the trainer of Lawrence Alonzo, looking on, and he should be a little worried early on. It is Alonzo, who has been called out of shape. A man whose heart has been questioned. Once again takes, ooh, more shots to the gut. Ooh, big right hand. And that will do it for round one. An impressive showing by Fred Bachman and Lawrence Alonso with so much on the line. Don't take your eyes off this guy, you understand? Keep right in front of you. This is perhaps his last shot at boxing and maybe even to repair his relationship with his beloved girlfriend, Andrea. He's going to come with a bunch of big firebacks. Keep your hands up. If you don't do nothing else, keep your hands up. <laughs> You stay close to him. And we are now underway in round two. We've got ourselves a war. These two guys are going at it. And here comes Alonzo firing back. Barely landing anything. His girlfriend, Andrea, trying to give him more support, but a big swing and a miss by Alonzo. Bachman clearly with a game plan, and he is sticking to it. Oh, and a flurry of punches from both fighters. Both fighters going at it toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Bachman again, working the combination to the head of Lawrence Alonzo. And again, and again. Oh, and they're throwing now. How is Alonzo standing? Bachman again, continues to work the jab. Alonzo just trying to shake it off, but barely landing anything. Oh, and Bachman another shot to the head of Alonzo. Alonzo just flailing away here in the waning seconds of round two, trying to get some encouragement from his trainer, Lou Zuba. And Bachman, another right hand. 
And that will do it for round two. You lost that round again. You've got to fight. Once again, Fred Bachman, impressive. Lawrence Alonso getting an earful from his corner and Lou Duva. Tight as hell for Christ's sake, and you're, they're not punching. You got to punch with this guy, you understand? Let's keep it up, let it out Come on, come on now. Fred Bachman, Every also an elementary day, school day, teacher day, in day, Philadelphia, day, Pennsylvania, day, said he will day, donate day, half day, of whatever day, he day, earns day, on the next day, great day, champ day, to day, help day, his day, school day, children. Hey, you gotta win it. You gotta win it, You understand? Of course, this is a four-round fight. We are starting round three of the next great champ. Alonzo's got to come with an answer, and he's got to do it now. He's lost those first two rounds on my car. Both men trying to reach that ultimate goal. Early seconds of round three, and Alonzo finally on the attack. But once again, it is Bachman coming back at it. Andrea, once again, telling Lawrence Alonzo, go get him, show some of that heart. But it is a big swing and a miss with the right hand. And once again, Bachman connects. Great combination. Lawrence Alonzo shaved off his hair, said he needed to be tougher out there. Well, perhaps much like Samson, his strength has left with his hair. But one punch can turn this thing around, and for Alonzo, he needs that big punch to come now. And finally, Alonzo on the attack. He had Bachman momentarily against the ropes. And Alonzo now working the body. Where is he drawing this energy and passion from? Oh, but Bachman with a solid left to end round three. That was a close round, probably the closest tonight. Both men receiving support from their corners. Of course, Fred Bachman's brother Lance basically played the role of matchmaker all but manipulated the ex-girlfriend of Lawrence Alonzo, Andrea, told her lies, basically anything to get his brother into this ring because he loved this matchup. All you gotta do is keep your hands up, keep throwing that straight one through like Larry Holmes was telling you today. Hey, listen to me. Suck. You know why you suck? Because you're not getting it 100%. Come on. Come on. You understand? Look, all you gotta do is jab, 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 white straight one through, okay? Hit this guy in the chin, you're not gonna be losing it, but you ain't got a chance in the world unless you knock this guy out. This now the fourth and final round of the fight. Who will it be? Lawrence Alonzo or Fred Bachman? Ranked number one. If he wins, he not only moves on, but also earns another $25,000. And it's Bachman right away, that big right hand over the top. And his brother Lance loving what he's seen so far, and why not? Alonzo knows what he has to do. He has to get the knockout. Alonzo, who has bigger and better dreams for his two nephews, and is finally on the attack, working a combination to the head of Bachman. Come on, Freddie. Lawrence Alonzo has said this is his Olympics, perhaps his last stop, shot at stop, boxing. Stop. Hey, on, hey, pick him up. Come what on. is this here? Jose Cobian, the referee, has stepped in. Oh, no! Fred Bachman taking out his mouthpiece, asking for a few seconds. The crowd not liking that one at all. Let's go, come on, Bachman. An apparent low blow thrown by Alonzo, and Bachman says, put that mouthpiece back in, I'm rearing to go. Winning or losing this fight, one thing you see about Alonzo is he is always walking forward. Lawrence Alonzo needs to land that big punch and knock out Bachman. Bachman! 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 Bachman again, landing a few more rights, but Alonzo, desperate, throwing punch after punch. Will it be enough? A valiant effort by both warriors. And that is going to do it. Who will win? Who will go home? We'll have to wait for the judge's decision right after this. Fox 29 News. Next, Don Stenslin takes Eagles' Brian Dawkins off the field to find out why he's a safe bet for the team. Ivan Ugly, it's getting ready to hit. Will it be Florida or the Big Easy? I'm Rob Garino. Get its latest track next at 10. One of the reasons we play so well on the road is because we have a team out. And then what happened? John Elway drove 98 yards. She definitely cares about what we eat. Ooh, Miss McNabb, Miss McNabb. Al, keep driving. For away games, she loves giving us Campbell's chunky soup and microwavable bowls. She makes the roads feel like home. Campbell's chunky, it fills you up right. Introducing Sense Stories by Febreze, a whole new way to experience sense. Because with Sense Stories, you can play sense, like you play music. 
Every reusable Sense Stories disc plays five complimentary scents. With a new scent every half hour. And a whole new experience with every disc. Just push play, and you're there. New Sense Stories by Febreze. Nintendo? Who wants lunch? Yeah. I thought Wendy's. Junior bacon cheeseburger for me, side salad and baked potato for your mom. You're chicken nuggets guys, right? And everything's 99 cents on the super value menu, so the sky's the limit. Did I mention we could win a fabulous family trip to Nintendo's U.S. headquarters to play their new games? To enter Wendy's and Nintendo's super family sweepstakes, use the code and have some fun together. How'd you get them to stop playing? Dad said that quality family time was the key to our social development. Right, Dad? Sure. Welcome back to Los Angeles, California for the next great champ. I'm Chris Rose. We are awaiting the judges' final decision in the fight between Fred Bachman and Lawrence Alonso. Bachman, back from a seven-year hiatus, he was solid, if not spectacular. But Lawrence Alonso really put the pressure on in rounds three and four and supplied some heavy shots to the head of Bachman. So much on the line for both of these fighters for both, it could be their last chance ever in the sweet science. So who will win? Who will go home? Whose dream is still alive? It's time to find out right now, so let's head into the middle of the ring. We do have a unanimous decision for your winner. Any, any of the money that I win out here, I'm donating half of the money towards the school that I work at. I went up against a really gritty foe. I thought I took his heart. I thought I took his will. My brother didn't beat anyone that's left. I truly do believe that. Fred didn't beat me. He won the fight, but he didn't beat me. I have the heart of a warrior. Nothing's going to stop me. We had Lawrence's nephews come in the ring. When Lawrence first turned around and he seen his nephews, and he just started crying. All right, Lawrence. So you know what? I gave it everything I had. Do not give up. I want you guys to remember that, and I want you to promise me that you will always push hard, no matter what. All right? Okay. I love you guys. I love you guys. Right. I just thought he did great. I couldn't have been any more happier. The bottom line is, I've never lost a fight and I think my talent will be good enough to get me through any fight out here. I was here for him because he asked me to be here. And I love him, you know? I love you too. But I'm still gonna be right here with him. In my eyes, he came out a champ. That made me happy. That made me feel like a winner. Next week, on an all-new The Next Great Champ, a surprise twist as the two most hated boxers determining one man's fate. Nice. See, I think it was a bunch of BS. Do I like you a lot? Not really. Do you like me a lot? Not really. A challenge sends two fighters to the hospital. Plus, for the first time, the fight will end with a knockout. Next week on The Next Great Champ. First on Fox 29, time hasn't diminished Ivan's strength, and those living along the Gulf Coast are respecting his power. And cops say they caught two teens deliberately. He's number one.